stigmatized in a dentist chair. That's how former patients of Dr. Howard Snyder describe their childhood dental visits. Today, crews were clearing out his office and said that they continue to find old medical records. But just one week after the state dropped all fraud charges against Snyder, patients tell our Julia Janae this was the only justice they could get. That's right. There are three medical experts who say that Howard Schneider is currently incompetent. And last week that led a judge to determine that he was not able to stand trial. His pace of place of business here is currently under the name of the bank that foreclosed on it. But the children who came through these doors decades ago say something else needs to come down too. I believe that once he was shut down, the sign should have came down. The credentials after longtime dentist Howard Schneider's name have disappeared. His name's still here. But Shannon Combs calls it too constant a reminder. I have full blown panic attack every time I sit down in the chair. She says she'll never forget what happened after she went to Schneider's office for four problem baby teeth. What? Four caps and I came out with 22 silver caps. She was just six years old. Parents began picketing the dentist's office for performing unnecessary and painful procedures and for blocking parents like Combs's mom from observing. Right in front of her the whole time, she couldn't even recognize me. My, my whole face was swollen. If I close my eyes, I just see him sitting beside me and his hands going in my mouth because I was in and out the whole time. I wasn't asleep like I was supposed to be. Combs' story very similar to 23-year-old Gloria Brown. Office closed. I woke up, mouth wide open, him just over me drilling, and he didn't stop when he noticed I woke up. He wanted me to stay down. Both say they were shocked to hear all 12 counts relating to Medicaid fraud against the doctor had been dropped by the state. It's disappointing. It's disappointing because I, I know a lot of people came for it. This, one thing for it to happen to me, but just to know that it happened to other people. I really feel like he should be punished, though. It really, really irks me that he's not getting nothing, not even a mental institution. While civil lawsuits are pending against Schneider and don't require him to be competent to go forward, those whose visits happened too long ago to qualify were looking for closure from a criminal trial. Public acknowledgement that this happened to so many people. This did happen. This is horrible. You know, like, it just shouldn't be swept under the rug. It's important to clarify that there were never any criminal charges filed against Schneider for any kind of abuse that was alleged against him by the children or parents of those children, only for unnecessary uh, billing of Medicaid. Now, the uh, two women that I talked to today, they say if those people who sued and those children who sued to get damages financially, they say if they are able to win or settle their cases, they will accept that as closure in this case. For now, reporting live from Arlington, Julia Janae, First Coast News on your side.